Hello techies, welcome back to Elfin Code channel and thank you for joining me today to discuss one more advancement from the side of generative AI. A uh, few days back we saw Devin uh, which was a kind of you know trend uh, all over the social media and today we are seeing one more AI software engineer uh, which is named as uh, Devika and uh, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I saw the demonstration a short video of 20 seconds and it is having exactly similar number of component as Devin, um, Devin is having and it is exactly in line with the Devin and uh, look and feel and everything was exactly similar to Devin though the developer of uh, this devika they have told that uh, devika had to do a lot to reach to the level of uh, devin but uh, at the same time they have invited uh, you know open developers i mean the open community to start contributing to their project to make devika up to the standard uh, to um, to to devin so at present uh, devika is not being tested um, uh, in line with the software benchmark uh, but sooner they will be doing it once they reach the capability of at least uh, you know a kind of you know Devin uh, uh, way where Devin is at present so it's it's a very good progress and I must say that uh, the way we are progressing in, in last one week I mean there are a lot of news coming even if if you heard uh, auto dev I mean which is one of the prototype uh, which is being uh, you know papered out uh, by Microsoft so that is also a very interesting piece of work from the side of Gen AI and uh, if, I, if I tell a little about the um, you know uh, auto dev uh, from the microsoft it is a kind of you know uh, enhancement to the git copilot which uh, which was released few few years back and uh, uh, i mean it is capable of this auto dev from the microsoft is capable of utilizing all your id functionality uh, along with it it is also having the capability of you know completion of your code having the prompt window as well so it is itself is kind of you know peer to your to any software engineer so that's very interesting we will be covering that auto dev in um, some other video but today we will be focusing more on the side of uh, you know devika let's see the ui component of uh, devika so here there's a one difference between devika and uh, uh, devin so it's like uh, um, with devin they had a different planner and in that planner uh, the uh, devin used to list out all the action which he, he which he need to take to complete uh, the objective of uh, uh, you know of the given objective but here in this case um, I mean in case of Devika what it does I mean what uh, she does actually she take the requirement from the user and then it makes a kind of you know step uh, uh, step by step plan and that plan is being shared in the um, chat uh, chat uh, you know ma chat messenger window itself or instead of having a different planner window it is sharing that plan in the chat window itself so this is one difference which I see from the UI side okay let us see the component of uh, devika uh, so it's a kind of ui component so we'll be going in detail of internal component but it is a ui component okay so the first component is the chat window so in chat window what uh, it is doing it is taking the requirement from the users and then it interact with the user in that window itself uh, and uh, let's say i mean in in their demonstration they have shown that uh, uh, they want to implement uh, you know conway's game of uh, uh, life in python programming language and then um, what devika replied that uh, okay he, uh, she is happy to provide step by step uh, plan to implement uh, this game using pi game so it, it already selected the library the accurate library that uh, uh, she need to use to complete the um, you know complete the uh, part of code so uh, so she she already decided on that and then she shared the entire plan step by step plan uh, to the users so this is the action plan which she need to take to complete the task okay the objective and uh, now this plan in case of Devin, they they I mean he was having a different window altogether, uh, which they call it as a planner window, and there this action item are being written. Whereas in this case, this is being all written on on top. Of, I mean in the same window where it is uh, having the conversation with the users. Now it has the code editor also where it uh, it it is writing the entire piece of code, and then it is having the browser the browser is being used either to train itself let's suppose if uh, pi uh, pi game is uh, one of the you know library which uh, devika is not um, uh, you know um, is is <laughs> 
not known to Devika, then Devika will be asking for for any kind of link which will help her to read out the entire library and it will go to the browser, check out that library and uh, gain knowledge from there. Similarly, it is a game which uh, user had uh, asked to you know write the code for. So it will go to the browser to learn all the rules of this game and according to those uh, scrapping of rules, it will decide how he um, now how she need to code those rules. So this is how the browser is being used. So chat window is um, one component, uh, UI component. The second component is uh, the code editor. Third component is the um, uh, the web browser. Okay. So I will say that uh, Devika is a AI software engineer, uh, which is having the capability to uh, understand the human uh, instruction. It takes the human instruction and then break that human instruction into a number of actionable uh, steps. And thereafter, it goes and research for the information that is being required to complete all these actionable steps. And once all this information are gathered, there's a kind of you know coder component which writes the entire piece of code and then it passes it to the users so this is a high level definition of the uh, devika ai software engineer apart from that if we just look at the high level they have this eight different component uh, in uh, in devika so the first component is agent core basically agent core is used to orchestrate the entire ai planning reasoning and execution process it also helps to communicate with other agents now agent comes as a second component okay now agent consists of various sub components and each some sub component is uh, um, you know is being assigned to do some specific piece of uh, code like coder is a sub agent so coders responsibility is to uh, write the entire piece of code for devika similarly there is a research uh, age sub agent which is uh, helpful to research all this information that is that will be required to um, you know to do a kind of task which is being defined in the actionable steps so likewise they have different kind of you know uh, sub components components existing in their agent uh, component then the third component is uh, language model so devika is making use of existing llm models like gpt 3.5 gpt 4 uh, cloud and all other llm models the fourth component is browser component so basically browser is being used to you know search for something and then they have the crawler which will be extracting the information from the top search result and then it helped to uh, you know further and enhance uh, the information which is being uh, used to, to complete all the objective or kind of you know steps which are listed down by the uh, devika okay then the fourth component is uh, project uh, management component uh, it basically uh, you know help in handling the uh, project related task like you know creating the entire project hierarchy and uh, i mean locking and all those kind of you know project related work which generally we are doing so all those are being carried out by the project management component then we have the uh, agent state management component which is basically used to uh, you know uh, help in tracking and persisting the state of any uh, agent because we have n number of sub agent so when sub agents are interacting with each other the state need to be preserved and once they collect all those information they proceed with the next step right so where they stop and started doing started doing interaction with other agent so that state need to be preserved so that they can start from there so this agent state management component is basically used to maintain or kind of you know persist and track all the state of various agent now then they have this service so service is basically i mean like github is one of the service so it is basically these are external services which are being integrated with uh, devika and which will be helping to write the entire you know software engineering task like once the code and everything is being done so this code need to be pushed to the git repository correct so these services are already integrated with devika so the pulling and pushing of the code and everything can easily be done inside the devika itself and then finally it also has a support for various utility so various utility consisting of like logging vector search pdf generation so they have different modules which they have already imported uh, and created a kind of you know utility which they make use of using various agent and do the functionality i mean uh, execute certain functionality which is being asked by the users so these are basically the eight different number of components devika has so if um, if i go 
a little maybe we can go a little detail about this agent um, uh, after some time but before that let me just uh, you know give you a kind of uh, flow uh, which is being used uh, uh, by the devika to execute a specific instruction uh, provided by user so let us understand how a particular user instruction is being carried out by devika okay so it make uh, use of uh, agent core because that that is the that is the core of the entire devika okay so uh, so the first step which is like when when any user uh, is providing a kind of you know high level instruction a particular uh, execute method from the agent is being ex being involved okay now that prompt is passed to the planner agent now planner agent what it does it creates the step by step plan for that particular instruction and then it passes that information to the researcher agent okay now this researcher agent then takes this plan and extract the extract relevant search queries and context which is being you which is kind of new you know needed to execute each step which has been uh, you know gi given by the planner agent they after the agent perform the web searches so they have made use of this bing search api and then it calls all the information from the top listed website okay now this uh, raw called content is passed to a formatter agent to extract the clean and relevant information okay now this research context uh, along with the step by step plan is feeded to the coder agent okay now this coder agent takes all this step by step instruction also the research context research context is nothing but all those uh, you know the researcher agent as well as the uh, the agent which perform the web searches all those result along with the step by step plan is being feeded to the coder agent okay to uh, generate the code now this coder agent generate the code and put it to the uh, project project directory uh, okay or maybe it will push it to the git as well uh, this is how the entire process um, you know uh, process uh, uh, actually gets executed uh, but there's one more uh, thing which happens uh, here so let's suppose user want to give a kind of you know subsequent information post this or in between this so there's a special different uh, method which is being involved so this method is uh, called as subsequent execute method uh, in the agent code itself so it gets executed and again uh, the same uh, you know same method started working uh, again so it again goes into the same uh, loop to execute the same step again i mean it again takes the instruction uh, the planner agent uh, step down all those steps which are needed and then the researcher agent extract all these relevant searches and context that need to be performed for each of these steps then the um, then the web search agent will go to the bing apis and um you know with the help of crawler it extract all the information and then this raw crawled information along with the step by step plan is being feeded to the coder to generate the code so this is a kind of you know uh, loop in process which is being executed until the entire software is made and shipped to the uh, users okay so this is what uh, the basic flow of uh, um, devika